of the new world order, Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. Um, you know what time it is, man. Make sure you support the movement at blackfilesnews.com slash shop. You can actually find a link uh, to go take you to uh, BFN shop uh, at uh, the Instagram Black Files News uh, page bio. Or you can actually check the video description of any one of our YouTube videos and there'll be a link that'll take you right there, man. Keep supporting the movement. We're going to keep supporting y'all. Now, uh, as far as this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, um, it has right now a global death toll of 83,000. And with the United States actually being impacted the most, right now the death toll in the last 24 hours, 1,900 people have fell, have died, and it's uh, been attributed to coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. Now, over in uh, New York, which is actually the epicenter of the virus spread in the U.S., they actually have, have um, reported um, 731 deaths since Monday, which uh, Monday being their highest death toll. This is according to uh, Governor Andrew Cuomo. And um, the New York Fire Department is reporting that um, there are also like, uh, they count like 130 people dying per day in their homes. These numbers aren't going to the official statistics, nevertheless. Uh, most of them are suspected to have been have uh, are dying from COVID-19. Um, this is a, a fire department that actually has 500 confirmed positive tests of coronavirus on their force. And uh, the New York, uh, the NYPD, they actually have 20% of their workforce out on sick. Green War graduate. In the world of the Bishop Grady, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Long hair don't care. Yeah, you see me. You know what I'm saying? Looking scruffy as shit. You know, you know how that this uh, pandemic is going. Got everybody in the house and all the non-essential businesses closed. But, yo, we need to find out how to make this, this haircut shit essential. You dig know what I'm saying? Nevertheless, so moving on. Um, Trump actually spoke yesterday at the White House um, about, again, talking about hydrochloroquine and how it could actually help treat um, coronavirus disease 2019, even though it's a drug that's used to treat malaria. Now, what came out, New York Times actually published a report showing that basically Trump could actually benefit, profit personally uh, off increased sales of hydrochloroquine. A huge conflict of interest. Um, now, he, um, what came out is, um, and I actually checked Breitbart for this one, you know what I'm saying? But what came out is that basically he has a three um, uh, f uh, family uh, trust that have uh, ownership in... Um, Dodge and Cox International Fund. Now, this is a mutual fund that actually has stake in the uh, the French company known as Sanofi, uh, the fifth largest uh, drug pharmaceutical company in the world, and uh, you know makers of hydro hydroxychloroquine. Well, I think it's called Planicil as it uh, comes out and on the market. Nevertheless, it's a very small percentage though, but he could be throwing an alley oop to somebody he knows or some of that other some of his his actual what he actually stands to gain from it could be hidden. Trump is also threatening to like withhold funds of World Health Organization saying they're very China centric, but then tried to walk that back in another interview. So I don't know where he stands on that or what that's about. Green War and Rad the new world order bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this black fox news report so after nine months on the job and now one press briefing um uh, white house press secretary uh stephanie grisham is actually uh not no longer working that position she will be replaced by uh go figure uh fox news like recurring um guest speaker uh uh, uh kayla mickinani um or mickinani you know White folks be having some weird names sometimes, nevertheless. And they got the nerve to talk about us, right? But nevertheless, though, um, this is, um, I mean, this furthers, like, that whole thing about there being a revolving door between the White House and Fox News ever since the executive branch has been, like, straight right wing. So, you know, the state-run media, is that what we looking at, people? This don't seem really democratic or really anti-socialist or anti-communist, you know what I'm saying? But, who for thought, Green War graduate. Uh, the, 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 the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So, uh, Donald Trump has actually removed uh, Glenn Fine, the uh, Pentagon Inspector General that was actually set to oversee the $2.2 trillion coronavirus relief uh, package, stimulus package, and basically oversee how that shit was going to be given out or whatever. He's been ousted from his position, fired, as Trump used to say on his uh, on that, that, that apprentice show, right? So... At the end of the day, this comes days after Trump was already saying out loud that he's not going to follow, like, um, you know, the uh, provisions that were outlined in the bill for this package on how 
the uh, package should actually be overseen. Meanwhile, the Treasury Department, they're asking for an additional $250 billion uh, to uh, actually uh, have set aside for small business loans after the loans that were already set aside for small businesses in the package are already running out. Greenwall and graduate. So the, world, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. Yeah, I cut myself up, man. Don't worry about all that. But nevertheless, though, um, after 11 weeks of a lockdown, um, Wuhan, China has actually been uh, reopened. You know, everything is resumed. You know, flights and trains and, you know, highways are opening now. Like, that city of 11 million people is no longer on lockdown. Um, and they feel like because they locked it down, uh, that actually was able to contain the spread of COVID-19. Wuhan, this is the original epicenter of the virus. And you're talking about them. China's reporting that 3,300 people had actually died from COVID-19 over there. But people suspect that the numbers are far higher and they kind of like, you know, curbing or suppressing it. But nevertheless, um, at this, they're, they're now no longer on lockdown. Initially, it was the other cities in the Hubei province that had their lockdown li lockdowns lifted except Wuhan, and now Wuhan doesn't have a lockdown anymore. Green Wall and Graduate. What the other new world, though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So over in Europe, uh, European Union finance ministers actually met for 16 hours yesterday trying to come to an agreement on a half a trillion euro uh, coronavirus stimulus package. Uh, to actually like give economic relief to all the European Union countries in dealing with this economic freefall, if you will, since uh, the virus spread has taken place and all these countries have been put on lockdown. But they did not come to an agreement. Um, this comes as um, right now you have uh, France having a death toll that um, actually um, um, top 10,000. Uh, Spain, uh, after having two days straight of their highest of, of rising death toll numbers, uh, they have a death toll that's top 15,000. In uh, Britain, they actually had 854 deaths in the last 24 hours. Britain is actually looking like it's going to be the hardest hit nation, even though Italy and Spain had a lot of people dying from it so far and, you know, had to put their countries on lockdown. Um, again, the, the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, he's still in intensive care for a second day. Green War and graduation. What other new world? The Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So over in Libya, yo, they wildin'. You had uh, these like government military members that were actually that are actually loyal to the uh, renegade militia commander Khalifa Haftar. This is the general that's actually leading the uh, Libyan National Army, the so-called Libyan National Army, um, against um, or. <laughs> He's been leading that uh, army against like the government of National Accord, uh, which is basically the United Nations bad government. Uh, Khalifa Haftar is actually a dual citizen of Libya and the United States. Nevertheless, into the story, um, Haftar act, uh, and the people that were loyal to him actually fired a missile into a hospital in the uh, in Libya capital of Tripoli, one of the only hospitals able to that are currently treating coronavirus uh, cases in the capital and um it injured six me uh medical workers green war on graduation man they wow what other new world though the bishop grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this black files news report so in senegal uh former u.s backed uh dick chadian uh chadian dictator uh dictator in chad uh the country of africa um hassane habre has actually been given a two-month leave from prison uh so that he doesn't contract COVID-19. Now, Abre is somebody that was actually in in um, uh, in, in, in leadership uh, during the 80s of Chad, and um, as a dictator, he's actually currently serving a life term, a life uh, sentence for crimes against humanity for basically sanctioning or ordering the death of like 40,000 people in the 80s. Um, so that's it. So people are going through measures to actually like do great measures, letting out all sorts of criminals in order to, uh, again, mitigate the spread. Um, the International Labor Organization is actually reporting 195 million jobs can be lost uh, due to this pandemic. Already, four out of five uh, workers across the world are affected by COVID-19. Green Wall and graduation. What other new world? The Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So, um, over in my home county, uh, Hudson County, uh, the, Hudson, the jail for Hudson County, there have actually been two nurses that have actually tested positive for coronavirus and have died 
from COVID-19. Um, there are 60 uh, actual uh, people in jail uh, that have tested positive so far uh, at um, at the Hudson County Jail, which is uh, Kearney, uh, over in Kearney and over there. Um, so that's uh, that's definitely alarming. Uh, over in San Francisco, you actually had um, protesters uh, surrounding the headquarters for the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services building um, in their cars, basically protesting and demanding that they expedite the release of, uh, of, of people in these immigrant jails. Uh, meanwhile, Reuters is actually reporting that uh, 400 children uh, who've been caught on the uh, trying to cross the U.S.-Mexico border in the uh, past two weeks have like rapidly been deported uh, and since March 21st uh, that there's like 7,000 total people that have actually been deported to Mexico uh, to where when Trump actually announced that he's going to um, basically um, go around standard in, uh, deport deportation procedures to basically expedite these uh, deportations and rapidly doing in a concerted time. I don't know if you can say that that's a bad thing if, if we don't want these jails overcrowded with people. Uh, in this case, it would seem like you have to do that, but at the same time, I mean, they're going to Me the Bo Mexico border where it's already considered to be very dangerous, but, um, you know, some of those people probably, may maybe unbeknownst to them, probably should prefer to be out the country as opposed to in. The, what is now considered the world epicenter for COVID-19. Green War on graduation. What up, the new world though? The Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. Yeah, I know my hair bugging, but you know what I mean? Listen to these words I'm about to tell you. Uh, so the most undemocratic election in the state's history is what the Milwaukee uh, Journal Sentinel has actually called it. Um, they had their primary yesterday in, in, um, in Wisconsin, uh, despite uh, the governor Tony Evers' uh, attempt to actually postpone the elections, um, and he tried to like use an executive order to actually do that, but um, the, it was blocked by the Supreme Court. So they went ahead and had their primary, and um, you know, you're talking about in a city like Milwaukee, their big city, um, the with the most black people in it, only five of the 180 polling stations were actually open. Uh, there were lines of people, you know, standing six to ten feet apart or whatever, but it was just like the voter turnout was not what it was. And then you have Biden, Joe Biden, actually saying that, like, you know, it shouldn't have happened that way. But this is days after he was actually supporting in-person voting. A lot of people were trying to do the mail-in route. We'll see how this turns out. The Green War on Graduation. Uh, uh, results come on April 13th. Green War on Graduation. What other new world though? The Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report. So hundreds of people in Florida are actually hit the unemployment line after the portal uh, for unemployment benefits had actually crashed and all of the people that actually work unemployment were unreachable by phone, as you can imagine, because since March 15th, it said that half a million uh, people in Florida have actually filed for unemployment. So you know that shit is backed up even if the portal was working. Nevertheless, you had, um, you know, these crazy scenes of like people being packed on these lines trying to get like paper applications to handle their unemployment shit. Now, at the same time, you're talking about, um, and you could, uh, there was like a, a, a scene that was captured by a channel WPLG uh, of like well, uh, one of the lines in the Miami suburbs. At the same time, though, uh, yesterday in Florida, uh, they reported nearly a thousand new COVID-19 cases and 13 deaths bringing the total death toll for that state to 300. Green war on graduation. For the other new world though, the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black House News report. So more shady shit in, uh, doing, happening amongst the government and how they're dealing with this COVID-19 outbreak. So um, acting Navy Secretary Thomas Modley actually resigned from his position. Now he did so after this misland, what I would consider a personally a mishandling of um, the uh, situation last week where you had Captain Brett Crozier on uh, um, Crozier on the USS uh, Theodore Roosevelt, this um, airport aircraft carrier that's out in like the Pacific Ocean near near the American territory Guam, and um, he basically sent a letter, penned a letter to um, Navy uh, officials, basically pleading for them to let the sailors off board um, and uh, be due to the fact that there was COVID-19 spreading on board. And um, the response was actually led to the firing of Brett Crozier and um, Modley mocking him in person in uh, public, saying like he was either too naive or too stupid to like handle the crack, uh, carrier. So, you know, off with his head politically. Green War graduate. 
for the new world order bishop Grady that y'all know what the fuck going on for this black fox news report so the trump administration uh according to the la times is like quietly taking uh orders of like face masks um thermometers and other medical equipment that would be crucial to like treating covid 19 patients taking it from these hospitals over in la now um nobody knows why this is actually happening under the um the federal emergency management system, um agency part of me also known as fema um so no one knows why fema is actually taking these orders um or what like specifically or th they're taking them um what like specific equipment are they looking for and where are they rerouting them through but the medical workers are just like what the fuck out there in la so reward graduation the new world order bishop Greg, letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this black fox news report so a few names actually have fallen to COVID-19. Uh, you have uh, John Prine, um, one of the top um, um, songwriters of the United States of America. Um, this is a Grammy Award winning uh, guy who actually, you know, for decades was writing about like, you know, you know, writing those folk songs about like, you know, uh, re regular Amer everyday Americans and, um, you know, his hometown, Paradise, uh, Kentucky or his parents' hometown, whatever. 73 years old and he died from, uh, COVID-19 in a Nashville hospital. Uh, now you have a uh, 64 year old Hal Wilner, a uh, music producer, longtime music supervisor at SNL. He died after ha uh, having symptoms that are consistent with COVID-19. And in my hometown, Jersey City Council member, Michael Young. This is the first Korean born um, council member to actually uh, get that position back in 2013. When he died from uh, COVID-19. So uh, rest the power to him. Green Wall and graduation. Well, the, 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 the Bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Files News report. So the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals actually um, has ruled to allow Texas to continue its abortion ban during the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, basically saying that it's critical. Well, the Texas Republicans were saying that it's uh, crucial unless it's an abortion that threatens the lives, the lives of the pregnant women that are having the kids. Um, it's not essential and it's and, and this ban is actually crucial to preserving hospital resources. But critics are looking at it like, they, you know, that's some bullshit because at the end of the day, most abortions don't even happen in hospitals. So, um, nevertheless, that's what's going on. Uh, groups of av uh, abortion rights advocates are actually planning on suing to overturn it. Let's see how that goes, though. Green War and graduation. <laughs> What other the world though the bishop Grady letting y'all know what the fuck going on for this Black Fox News report? Yeah, you see me on my OBB shit, you know what I'm saying? A little something, something, but you know, it's cause we in a pandemic right now and all these stay at home orders. Can't really get my hair done right now at the moment, but y'all gonna have to bear with me. Um as far as this news though, um there is aside from this pandemic going on, there's a tropical cyclone, uh category five tropical cyclone Harold that actually ripped through Fiji the other day. Um, or yesterday rather, and it actually did so in a way that, um, or it was technically Wednesday and, or in that uh, part of the globe, and it happened, but, um, you know, tearing off, destroying homes, tearing roofs off of houses, flooding streets, uh, but, um, this is actually, no fatalities reported in Fiji yet, but it had already killed dozens of people in the, uh, Solomon Islands and in Vanuatu, so, um, you know, but, uh, at this South Pacific archipelago like it definitely destroyed you know a few blocks green war on graduation